Abu sent me a question asking if, as a real estate investor, would I ever buy a property that has tenants that are currently being evicted? Um, yeah, actually, uh, in the MLS, the multiple listing service is where uh, properties are listed uh, available for sale. Um, you'll find these properties constantly. And uh, I always see it as a huge discount. So you are going to add in the cost of the eviction. Uh, you should know how much the attorney fees are going to cost. So contact a real estate attorney, find out, get a quote for exactly how much it's going to cost for them to evict the tenants. Uh, speak with the attorney, get an idea how long the property is going to be uh, that you're going to have to deal with these tenants uh, in place and go without rent. Uh, but I, when I see these properties, I think discount. So I think no other landlord is going to touch this property because of the dreaded word eviction. But the dreaded word eviction is merely a dollar amount that you're going to be without rent for two months, uh, whatever the rent would be, uh, whatever your comparables kind of show you what the rent would be, and the cost of uh, the attorney. In Philadelphia here, the cost for an attorney is roughly around $700. So $700 and say uh, it was a $1,000 a month rental, you know, I would just say, okay, it's gonna cost me $3,700 to, uh, to follow up and get these tenants out um, if I can't give them cash for keys or convince them to move on their own. Um, you know, as long as I'm getting the property for a deep discount, which I assume I'm going to, uh, you know, and the, and the numbers add up, then there's absolutely no reason not to buy these. And again, you know, the property is tainted by most uh, real estate investors. So very few real estate investors will touch those properties. So by what kind of discount you're you're getting, I mean, obviously it would depend, but I mean, it can be tens of thousands of dollars. Uh, you know, I saw a property actually in a neighborhood here in Philadelphia uh, where the real estate agent did a horrible job, uh, wrote an unknown entity has taken over the property. Uh, and it was just that one line. Uh, and the property was being sold for probably about seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 discount. And it just, uh, you know, the agent, and, I, and I'm pretty sure it probably ended up selling for that deep discount that everybody else avoided that property. Uh, you know, I came really close to thinking about putting in a, an offer on it uh, because of that. I mean, you could clearly see how valuable this property was. And the only problem that is with that property is having to evict that unknown entity. Uh, you know, and, and it's not necessarily unsafe. You basically are having the attorney deal with it. Uh, at some point, you might have to have a sheriff come and deal with it. Uh, and again, as long as you put that money aside, uh, then you should be, you know, good to go. Enjoy your property at a discount. So yeah, absolutely. As long as the numbers make sense and it's, it all comes down to numbers. So you are an investor. Uh, so it always comes down to the numbers. All right. Good luck.